Hey y'all, it's Jayla aka Jay Chanelli on the internet. Welcome back to my channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and join all 22,000 of us over here. It is finally the end of the month. So there are things we need to make sure we wrapped up for October before we get into November. And of course, looking ahead and setting our November goals. I'm calling this my November reset, my monthly reset. If you're interested in going into November with me, go ahead and keep on watching. Hey y'all, it's Editing Jayla here. Something I noticed, just a little observation. You can hear my washer and dryer throughout the entire video. I know for future reference, I can never film a video while doing laundry. Remember, I'm new to the space, so I know, I know. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. So without further ado, let's get into our monthly reset. Okay, so before we look forward to November, there are things that we need to make sure we got wrapped up in October, okay? Or it's gonna be some problems. I need to make sure that I paid all my bills. You don't already know, I did move out of my home and into a brand new city. I discussed in my last video, so go ahead and check that out if you missed it. But that means I got a whole lot of bills that I need to make sure that they're either on auto pay or I need to pay them right now before I get evicted, okay? Nobody's trying to get the book today. So right now I'm actually pulling up a spreadsheet that I have. I have an entire budgeting spreadsheet. So this is a spreadsheet that my friends actually came up with when my other friend was moving out. When I moved out, I just kind of adopted this spreadsheet as well and made some minor adjustments so that it worked for me. All right, y'all, so here is my spreadsheet. I'm using Google Sheets for this and you will go ahead and see my monthly budget. So I have the months of the year listed out in order of the months that I've lived in this apartment, right? So my first month was October. My last month will be September before I need to decide whether to renew my lease or to move and live elsewhere, okay? So that is why you see the years or the months listed out like that. And then let's go ahead and get into the next column. So the next column is my net income. Remember, net income is the amount of money you bring home. After the government done took all they gonna take out, which would be a lot, after you've paid health insurance or whatever you pay from your check, net income is what I'm actually bringing home, what I can use to pay my bills, okay? So let's say for the purposes of this demonstration, my net income was a uh, hundred dollars let's say in a month in the month of october all i was gonna bring home is a hundred dollars so i'm gonna actually type in 100 dollars into this cell and all of the expenses that i have are going to be subtracted from this 100 dollars. my next column is rent which i obviously have to pay in order to live in an apartment so i'm gonna go ahead and type my monthly rent into this cell right here I think for the purposes of this demonstration, I said my rent was like $50. That's expensive rent, child. Okay, next up is my electric. The next column is electric. And I do have to pay both electric and water in my apartment. It sucks, I know. You can see how I'm filling this out, okay? So for each expense I have, I go ahead and input the number into the appropriate cell. And then at the very end, we're gonna tally up all of our expenses and we're gonna subtract that from our net income, okay? So let's go ahead and just run through the rest of the expenses that I have. So I pay renter's insurance. I have an internet bill. Thank God I ain't got no car payments. Um, but I do also pay my credit card bill, groceries, gas, my subscriptions like Spotify or Apple storage, for example. And then we jump to health insurance and savings is what I wanna definitely cover. So my savings number is what I'm gonna focus on and this is actually a calculation. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in so you can see this equation really nicely. Here is the equation for my savings. I like to save 20% of my net income. So the equation that you are seeing currently is a calculation of my net income, which we have in cell B2, and it is multiplied by 0.2 or 20%. Super easy, super simple. You can copy this exact equation with whatever percentage of money you want to save monthly. Okay, my last sale, my last expense says other, and this is just the miscellaneous things that you may buy over the month, like um, paying for tolls or re-upping on my toiletries. Anything that I spend that is not like a necessity and essential, that's why I say specify, okay? Because you need to specify where that money is going. And now we're going to jump to the next column where we're actually tallying up all of my expenses in the total expenses column. 
If you don't know how to build an equation in Google Sheets, I'm gonna give you a lesson today, okay? Super easy, super simple, just basic mathematic functions. We are going to type an equal sign into this cell, okay? Because we are making an equation which has to have an equal sign. And we want our total expenses to equal everything in that first row, okay? So we're taking the sum of every expense we type in. So you're gonna see me click the very first cell that has an expense, my rent is first. I'm holding down the shift key and then I'm selecting my last expense, which is my other category. Make sure you close that parentheses and now we have a beautiful equation that summarizes our total expenses for the month of October, okay? You don't have to keep typing this equation out. You can literally just drag it down the column and it'll auto populate into the rest of the cells for you. Our last equation is already built out for us and that is our balance. So what is our balance? That is all the money I brought into my house, my net income, minus all of the total expenses or all the money leaving my house, okay? And you can see we've already built out that equation. And that is how I know how much money I have left over for the month. Now, with these fake numbers that I'm typed in, I got negative $52, which is not very good. You need to make sure you're on the positive side and not on the negative side. But this is a very easy way to keep track of your expenses, to do some easy calculations, and to reference things when, you know, your numbers aren't adding up right, okay? So let me know if this was helpful for you. If you want a copy of this Google Sheets, I can go ahead and leave a copy in the description box. Just let me know if you actually want that or not, okay? Hey y'all, we closer to the washer and dryer, so my apologies if it gets a little loud over here, but the laundry needs to get done. All our dates are on there. Now I need to go through any events, holidays, that kind of stuff. Obviously the most important holiday in November is Thanksgiving because that is my favorite food. Y'all can't tell me nothing different, okay? Thanksgiving food is top tier food. I like my plates low vibrational. Thanksgiving is always the fourth Thursday of the month. One, two, three, four. So it's gonna be on the 24th this year. I think the seventh is like Veterans Day or something. Pretty sure my family is coming to visit me. I think they coming on Thursday, y'all. I really don't know. Whose birthday is in November? I have a couple of friends who have birthdays in November. We're back at the desk and this time we're gonna bullet journal. I have not opened my bullet journal in a very long time so I figured it would be good to get back into it. Let's go ahead and get out our materials. Very nice. And then we have our actual bullet journal over here. This is my bullet journal. My bullet journal is less for organization purposes and more for just like my creative expression. All right, y'all, so let's go ahead and set up my November bullet journal. I'm working on my title page here, and I actually got this design idea from Amanda Rach Lee. She's a big Bujo artist here on YouTube, and she got her inspiration from the movie Encanto. So that is what we were going for here. So I set up my title page and then my actual calendar page here. We still gotta fill in some of those dates, but the next page is specifically for my monthly goals, which we are going to fill out in just a second, and my gratitude log. I also have a habit tracker and a place for my intentions. And finally, we will be journaling. But let's go ahead and set our monthly goals. Now that we have the bullet journal set up, we can go ahead and start making some monthly goals. I already know one of my goals that I want to achieve is reading a book this month. I have been doing really, really good with my reading, but I did fall off sometime during this year. So I wanna pick that up again. Just so y'all know, I am a fiction book girl. I love fiction. I'm not trying to read no nonfiction. I'm not trying to read no self-help. Maybe nothing that I can apply to my life. I'm trying to escape the life. So if you have any fiction recommendations, recommendations go ahead and let your girl know the next goal i want to leave the house y'all i have not been anywhere since i got to miami other than going to work going to the store to get my necessities so i'm gonna make it a point to actually go out each weekend and when i say go out i don't necessarily mean go out and party i just mean get out of the house each weekend other than like my daily errands now related to that one of the things that i want to do and i have been wanting to do is take a dance class i do need to stay active and dance is 
probably one of like my favorite ways to stay active. So I'm gonna write down take a dance class. I want to plan my YouTube and my social media a little better. If you have not already noticed, my videos have been going up late. I have not been very constant or active on Instagram or on TikTok, just because I just feel like I'm a little hectic. My life is a little hectic right now just because of so many, so many changes. So that is one of the things that I want to do. I want to plan out my content for the rest of the year. Also related to getting out more, I want to vlog. I need to vlog at least once this month. Going to require me either getting out or just doing things and planning my day. The last thing I need to do, I need to stretch daily. I'm someone who does not stretch. I don't enjoy stretching because I'm not flexible. Um, I don't enjoy doing things that I'm not good at, fun fact. So I need to stretch every day, whether that is in the form of yoga or just doing a little, little quick thing to get my blood flowing, I need to stretch every day. To keep myself accountable in that monthly goal, I think I'm going to use my brand new yoga mat. She's cute or whatever, don't look at my feet. Time to break it in. Which just means that you're bringing your knees to the other in front of you. Really lift and pull out of your lower back. So there's lots of length through our spine. Forehead can come down to the floor as you pull. And use your left hand to draw. And hug up the feet. Okay, y'all, so that was my little yoga session for the day. I definitely feel it. Let me know how you close out the old month and get ready to go into a new month in the comment section below. I'm very interested to hear about your reset routine. Hopefully some of the things I did can help you as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, remember to hit that subscribe button. Also, like this video so YouTube can share with other people. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye. Yeah!